Okay, grab your glass of wine and let's have a look at the tabs in OpenOffice. Let's open it up. OpenOffice, Writer. You may notice that uh, this uh, program, uh, the words are in French, um, but uh, French or English, it's all the same as far as positions are concerned, so you should be able to follow along. So, when you open a document, a new document in OpenOffice Writer, uh, what you get is uh, basically this. Uh, I've uh, chosen to uh, have the zoom at uh, the, the width of the screen, adapted to the width of the screen, so it's, uh, I get a better view. What you will notice is that on the, uh, on the ruler, you have default tabs here every half inch, okay, or about every half inch. Now this you might see and you might not see. It depends on what is set up in your default tab positions. And I'll show you where you go and have a look at that. But first of all, let me remind you that OpenOffice works with styles. And when you open up a, uh, a uh, document, a new document, it will normally get you in the standard style, open up in the standard style. Okay, so in the standard style, if you want to see how your tabs are set up, you would, uh, you could go to uh, tools, okay, options, and here you see Open Office Org Writer General, and here you see parameters. First of all, units of measure, okay. So here I have chosen inches. Uh, it's uh, actually in French, it says uh, pouce, which is the French for inches. But you could choose to have it in centimeters or picas or points, depending on your preference. Uh, I'll use uh, inches for this uh, exercise because I believe that is the probably the most common uh, in North America. Uh, although in Canada, we do use uh, the metric system uh, for measuring lengths. But anyway, I'll use this uh, and uh, here is where you would indicate how much space you want between your tabs. So now it's at 0 0.50 inches, so a half inch between the tabs. So guess what? That's why you have a tab every half inch. Okay. So now the tabs, remember, are associated with um, the paragraph. I have here clicked on this button to show my paragraph marks and, and other marks that uh, help out here. If I click on this button, I will lose that. Okay, I'll click it back to see the end of paragraph marker. Now, if I click on my tab key on my keyboard, this is what I will get. I'll move to the half, then to the other one, the other one, etc, etc, etc. So, of course, if I want to get to six inches, I'll have to uh, hit that uh, tab key a, a number of times. All right. So what I will show you here is how to get rid of those uh, default tabs so that you can set up your own manual tabs as you wish. You don't have to get rid of all these tabs to set up your own manual tabs, but some of you may want to. So this is what this video is about. It's just to set up a style where when you open up the document, you have a document that has no tabs showing. And this is how you would do this. You would um, go to styles. Okay. Now to go to styles, there's a, a way of, uh, of uh, going directly to it uh, by pressing, I believe, uh, uh, and uh, I think it's uh, F11 on your keyboard, I think. Let's have a look, see if it is. Certainly is. Okay, so you press F11, and it brings you to this. It opens up this box. Notice that standard is highlighted here because that is uh, the style we are now using. So what I can do is I'm going to create a standard style, but standard no tabs. So what I want to do is create... A new style so I will go to 
over here and it says new style from a selection so i'm i'm going to start with the standard which is highlighted and i'm going to click this button and i want to i have three choices here and i'm going to take the first one which is a new style starting from this standard style so i'm going to click this and i'm going to call this style standard no tabs okay now so now it's in the list okay so if i right click on it i can then uh, add a new one modify this or delete it so i'm going to modify this standards no tab and what i am going to do here is create a a document which will have no default tabs except one actually I'm going to create a tab which is at eight and a half inches since you are working with a probably letter size paper that is eight and a half inches wide what this will do it will eliminate all the preset tabs uh, and will give you one tab at eight and a half inches which is at the very edge of the paper so no tabs will show up so i'm going to set it as a a left handed tab it really doesn't matter what you set it at it's not going to show up anyway so and then i'm going to say okay and there we go so what we have now you just close this up so what you have now is you've got a document and there are no tabs in that document right now. Now that does not preclude you from entering or uh, adding your own tabs wherever you wish. To enter a tab or to put in a tab, remember now I've got standard no tabs. If I go back to standard style, now I have my tabs at every half inch and you may want to use that and you may want want to, to to use that so this way you can choose to have a document at the beginning with the with the standard half inch tabs already set up or you can go find your standard no tabs uh, uh document okay when you click here on this arrow you won't necessarily find standard no tabs the new one you've set up but you'll have to go click on plus to get at it okay so now i've got it chosen standard no tabs and now i have no tabs now i can go enter the tabs the way i want to uh, if you want to the one simple way of adding a tab is just go to where you want it left click and it will Put in a tab marker now this is a left tab if you want to change it to a right to a decimal or to a center tab you would you would put your cursor on the marker right click and then change it to whatever you want okay so right click decimal right click again and change it to whatever you want okay and there you go now if I press the tab key now, I will go to one inch. And every time I add a paragraph now, the tab will be the same. If I want to change it, in this paragraph, for example, in this paragraph, I want it to be a two inch. Well, why don't I add a two inch? If I add a two inch, the one inch will stay though. That will not change. So now in this paragraph, I have a one inch and I have a two inch. If I go back to the previous paragraph, you notice that there is no two inch, there's only a one inch. So it's, it's, it's paragraph dependent. But if I go in this paragraph now and add paragraphs to it, notice that now in these paragraphs, I have one inch and two inch, okay? Whereas in the first paragraphs, where I only had the one inch, I still only have the one inch. 
Now let's say I this paragraph it's okay. I want one inch and two inch, but in this paragraph, I want to get rid of the one inch. Well, I put my cursor in that paragraph, drop the one inch, and look at what happens here. It goes directly to two inches. Now what about the, the next paragraph, which was already set at one and two? Guess what? It's still set at one and two. Okay? So basically, that's how the tabs work uh, for uh, OpenOffice. There is another way of setting the tabs, uh, and this uh, you do by you can do by going into Format, Paragraph, and this is where you can set by, you know, I could go in here and say I want a tab at two inches. This is a new one. I want one at five inches, a new one. And I want one at seven inches, a new one. Now I only want them at two, five, and seven. Um, so I now see the 850. The 850 is there because that's how I had set up the tabs to get rid of the automatic preset tabs. So you can leave that one in. That won't bother you. But I want to get rid of this one, which I will delete. And I want to get rid of this one, which I will delete. So now I have the 2 inch, the 5 inch, the 7 inch, and the 8.5, which is the one that is there normally. And I'm OK. So you see, I have one at 2, at 5, and 7. Actually, 7 is beyond the margins of the document, so it would not be very useful. So, you know, I can pick it and grab it and drag it back to where I want it. So now if I go to this paragraph, what do I have? I still only have the one inch. I only have the one inch. I only have the one inch. Where, how come, how come, where did my five, seven, my two, five, and seven go to? Well, where was my cursor when I put the two, five, and seven? My cursor was in this paragraph, the last one. And that's the only paragraph that's, at, that's affected. So your tabs, if you go and use format paragraph, you will only affect the paragraph in which you are. If you want to affect all paragraphs, you would just select them all and do the same thing. Go into format, paragraph, and then here it says zero because there are different tabs in the different paragraphs. So what you would do here is you would simply add the positions you want, where you want your tabs to be. And there you go. That's uh, as simple as it is. Uh, now if I want to change and go use a, a document, I want a document with the standard half inch, uh, I could do that. by choosing the style standard. So now I'm back into a standard document that has me doing this and getting a tab moving half inch at a time. Hopefully this will help you out with the tabs in OpenOffice. Uh, if it doesn't, or if you have suggestions as to, uh, or questions as to how to do things, other things, or other ways of doing it, just uh, drop me a line, drop me a comment, and I'll be uh, glad to uh, try and accommodate you.